let's go ahead and hit record. So first of all, names of solids. Solids are just three-dimensional figures. So that's all we're talking about here. So if you have a physical item, a box, a um, paper towel tube, these are things that we call, they don't literally have to be solid. They can be, but we have names for all of these shapes. And a lot of the names you already know. So we're gonna kind of break them up into a few big groups. So the first group are the prisms. So prisms come in all different shapes, but they have a few things in common. Okay, so prisms are three-dimensional shapes. Let's say solids, three-dimensional solids with and here's what they have to have. They're going to have two congruent parallel bases that are polygons. So you're going to have two sides of this shape that are parallel to each other. And they are also going to be, if you look straight on at it, it would be some polygon. So it could be a rectangle or a hexagon or an octagon or a triangle, but it's not going to be a circle. Okay. It's not going to be an oval. It's got to be some sort of a polygon. And remember polygons are made up of those straight edges. So that whole list that we had the other day, triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, it's going to be one of those. So you have these two bases that are parallel to each other. And then those two bases are just going to be connected by a series of rectangles. Okay, so I am going to show you, looks like I have six different, I'm going to actually cut it right here. So let's take a look at what some of these prisms look like. Let's start with um, the most common one that I guess you see is going to be this guy right here, number three. This is what we refer to as a rectangular prism. So you can see I have, now it's a little confusing here because who are the bases? Who are those two parallel bases? You could actually call any pair of, like you could say the top and the bottom are the parallel bases. You could say the front and the back are the parallel bases. You could say the two sides are. With rectangular prisms, it doesn't really matter who they are as long as they're parallel to each other. So you could think about it as the front and the back, the top and the bottom, doesn't really matter. Um, but hopefully you can see in this image two parallel bases and then they are connected by a series of rectangles. So this thing, again, we call this a rectangular prism. Here is another example of a rectangular prism even though this thing, um, it appears to be a cube, right? So if all of your faces are squares, you can call it a cube. So I'm gonna assume that this one is, even though it's only the bottom that's marked. But um, just so you know, a cube still counts as a rectangular prism. There is no such thing as a square prism. We would just call it a cube. Okay, let's look at a, another type. So again, don't try and draw these. I mean, you can. If you're good at drawing 3D figures, then go for it. But I will put all of this in our notes because it's just it's too hard. So take a look at this one. This is another prism, and this one's a little bit easier to see those two parallel bases. So in this case, it's going to be the top and the bottom. So hopefully you can see that the top and bottom are two parallel bases. And what shape are they? 
They're pentagons. And then they are connected by the series of rectangles. See that? So that's how you know a prism is a prism. You have two parallel bases and then rectangles that connect all the parts. So to name this thing, you're just going to take the shape of that base, which is a pentagon, and we just fancy it up and call it a pentagonal prism. That's all there is to it. So this is pentagonal. So notice pentagon, and then we just add AL to the end, pentagonal prism. So take a wild guess what you think this shape would be called. It's a Anybody know? Prism? What'd you say? Triangular prism? Yes. My bases are triangles in this case, right? So I have a triangle here and another congruent triangle down there. Those are my bases. And then they're connected by those rectangles. So this is simply triangular prism. All right. Let's drop down to this one here. Take a guess what that is. Anybody, anybody? Hexagonal prism? Got it. Hexagonal prism. So my base is a hexagon. So we fancy it up by calling it hexagonal, and then we just add prism. All right, let me, we only have until 11.14. Oh gosh, okay. So, all right, I'm gonna get as far. He, so here's what I'm thinking, um, just cause I know I'm eventually gonna run out of time. The assignment for today, there's no way we're going to get to volume. So why don't I just make today's assignment, I won't have it due until Friday. So maybe we just won't ever get to surface area. Oh my gosh, how could we not? But so uh, if you want to start today's homework when I'm done, then start it. But then we'll just wait till tomorrow to, to do volume. So... Anyway, let's see how far we can get because I do still have seven minutes. So what is this thing? This one's kind of fun. I like this one. Now, it is important to recognize who the bases are in this one. This one, you don't get to just pick whichever ones you want. You can't say that the top and the bottom are the bases, for example, because this thing is not a rectangle, right? So it's this that has to be the base. So here's the first one and then the congruent one back here. And then you can see there's these rectangles that connect them. So the bases are actually trapezoids, aren't they? So this thing is called a trapezoidal prism. How fun. I know, right? It's so cool. All right, so I'm going to try and at least get through the naming, and that's probably will be as far as we can get. So there are our prisms, so that's how you name them. Uh, and then we're going to see if we can get pyramids on here too. So pyramids look exactly like you think they look. The pyramids that you know in Egypt are pyramids. So they are, but they're, that's only one type of pyramid. There's other ones. So pyramids are also 3D shape, uh, solids with, again, they are going to have, these only have one base though. One base, that's a polygon. So again, all straight edges, we're not looking at any curves, no circles. That base is gonna be a polygon. But then 
each side of that polygon is going to have a triangle that comes up off of it and that meets at a point at the top. Okay, so sides all have triangles, let's say attached, which meet at a point. Okay, so yes, pyramids look like pyramids. So the first one I'm going to show you is the typical pyramid that you know. That first one. Okay, so that one marked number seven. That's the pyramid that you're used to seeing. So it has a base, in this case, a square. And then you see off each side of the square, you have this triangle that comes up and they always meet at a point. So uh, to name a pyramid, we're just call, going to call it by whatever its base is and then say pyramid. So this would be a square pyramid, okay? Sometimes you'll see it referred to as a right square pyramid. And that just means that, um, like imagine if I, had, if I had the square base, right? But then the point was like way over here. So everything was like slanted. Could you imagine that? So that would be like a lopsided uh, pyramid. So that is not, when it goes straight up like this, we call it a right square pyramid, that's all. So all of the shapes that you're going to see are going to be right square pyramid or right whatever kind of pyramid it is. So I'll put right in there, but you don't really need that part. You're just gonna see it a lot, right? And then this is a square base and it's a pyramid. Pyramid. Ah, three minutes. So let's just see if we can name another one. So this one here, its base is a pentagon. So this would be a, uh, do we call it pentagonal pyramid? I think so. I don't, I think we still add the AL to it. Pentagonal pyramid. So this one where the base is a rectangle, just a rectangular pyramid. You get the idea? So whatever that base is, fancy it up and then just call it a pyramid. So this one, I have six sides, so that's going to be a hexagonal pyramid. So you could have whatever kind of polygon you want. So you could have an octagonal pyramid. You could have a dodecagonal pyramid. That's pretty much it. So that's as far as I'm going to be able to get today, I think. Um, so if you want to start this homework, you can, or you can just wait till tomorrow when we finish this topic. Oh, well, okay then. I guess someone's <laughs> ready to go. All right, guys, any questions for right now? Um, I don't have a question, but um, before you end the meeting, check the chat. I sent you something. And oh. have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Thank you, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I can't find where the chat is on here. <laughs> Basically, the message says, um, on Jupiter, it's just my first and last name for the username. Oh, I think I got that. I got that already. Okay. I just yeah. want to make sure you saw that because... I did. I You sent it a while ago, right? Yeah. Yes, I copied it already. And now I don't know why I can't find the chat on here. I swear, this thing. But I got it. I got your login. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank oh, you. Bye. Oh, there it is. Oh, and I didn't hit record? Yeah, I did. Let me stop recording, though. Bye.